Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and all the news in details. The United States President Donald Trump has just made an important announcement, see what he said. The United States President Donald Trump has just made an important announcement. I mind the situations that President Donald Trump has refused to concede the elections to President-elect Joe Biden. Trump has just made an important announcement on his Twitter handle concerning the Office of the Secretary of Defense. Trump, I am pleased. According to Trump, he said, I am pleased to announce that Christopher C. Miller, the highly respected director of the National Counterterrorism Center, unanimously confirmed by the Senate, will be acting Secretary of Defense effective immediately. Chris will do a great job. Mark Esper has been terminated. I would like to thank him for his service. And here is what he said on his Twitter page. I am pleased to announce that Christopher C. Miller, the highly respected director of the National Counterterrorism Center, will be acting Secretary of Defense effective immediately. The president made this announcement a few, few minutes ago, and this may be a way to tell people that, hey, I am still in, in this office like I am still president and appointing an active secretary of defense speaks volume that he still has that power and he is not set to give it up yet. A report says his son-in-law and senior advisor, Jared Kushner, has recently approached him to concede, but from what we, we can see, Trump has not and is, ready to, is not ready to concede. Wow. So guys, kindly stay tuned for more reports about Donald Trump. What is your own take about this? What do you think? The reality is that President, President Donald Trump needs to accept the defeat. And that's just a fact about it. Now, many people are not happy about what happened right now. You know, now we all know that the latest president of America is now Joe Biden. You know, and he needs to accept that. It is not easy, you know, for somebody to be in a race and just lose such opportunity it's not an easy thing but he needs to accept it let him not be disgraced let him not even disgrace himself he lost on already and he is not the first person that will lose you know this issue of election is is either you win or you lose and that is just about it so he needs to accept his defeat for peace to reign in the whole country he should need and he needs to give them their key provided Provided his time comes to an end in White House, even them is not permanent. Even the people that are here, that, that, that Joe Biden, his own stay in White House will not be permanent. Definitely, after his, after his own four, four years and all, he will leave also. So, directly or indirectly, Donald Trump needs to accept the defeat. You know, people were saying that I don't like to Trump, but he was quite right. This bidding is a fight on. It will run be a gate and antichrist evil agenda. God save us. The United States is not Nigeria or Africa where you will rig election and take it by force. He is working with American intelligence. After the investigation, the truth was done. The reality is that, you know, during the election, Donald Trump was saying that this is not the right vote, that uh, they rigged the election, and immediately he took it to court. You know, why so, so many... Of the leaders, the Senate, and all of them were saying that the election is still going on. How will you take, in fact, how will you take a case to cause court why the election is still going on? That Donald Trump will be the first person to make an attempt, a such attempt, even if you want to take somebody to court. It has to be after the election. It's just, and it's just so unfortunate that Donald Trump does not even accept the defeat. The person that has win has win. Let peace reign. And that's just the reality about it. People say that hmm, Trump don't cause war. And they said Trump, your presidency too has been terminated. You have to move on. Losing election is not the end of Trump. He still be the former president of America with full respect. Not like Africa, which is true. If you lose the election, it does, does not mean that it will change you. It is not the end of the road. 
And that's how it is. People said that he is administration, he, his administration comes to an end on January 6th when the joint sections of Congress ratifies the elections of Biden. I think he has, he has right to contest his case in court, definitely, just like the Democrats did when he won his first elections as president, claiming the Russians helped him to win his election. You know, the fact is that he has right to go to court, but not during the, the election time that he took a case to court. You know, that's just the reality about it. But it baffles me. You know why it baffles me is that many many Americans were so happy. If you see the the way people were just so happy after the election, if they see the way people were just you know showing this happiness when they heard that it was Joe Biden that won the election, you know, so many music all around the places, you know, people were just so happy with everything. I say that wow. Is this how bad Donald Trump is? Why is it like this? So viewers, what do you think? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comment in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. But yeah, to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news. Anytime, any day. God bless you for all this being the estate. Safe. Bye.